Mayor and Councillors, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. The Chinese philosopher said, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Our single steps joined to unite school, community, and the wider global community in solidarity with the ideals of fair trade. I am delighted that we are now the 51st fair trade town in Ireland. My 6,000 pupils may not realise today just how important today is, but maybe in 5 or 10 years' time, as they drive or walk through Bourne or Cornelstown or past the Round Tower, maybe with children of their own, that help us. <laughs> And we see a banner with the very sorry, with the very recognizable blue and green and black colours and the words Clondalk and Fair Trade Town printed on it, they will know that they have made history. So well done. told us to be the change we want in the world. You sixth class have been that change. For the children themselves, this engagement with social justice issues has been enormously beneficial. Not only have they learned about the unequal world in which we live, but much more importantly, they have learned how to affect change. They have campaigned in the mail, they have written letters to ministers, to councillors, to TDs, to local shops, businesses, and community groups. As they received replies, they've been interviewed by radio and television. They are articulate and great thinkers. And I think we might one or two politicians among them. So, watch out. <laughs> we also have some hugely talented musicians. And in a few moments, I'm going to invite um, those children out to the stage with with Niall from the Drummond Workshop. These children are very powerful voices for change. Initially, they, they thought that maybe they were too small or too little to be listened to. Today, they were a testament to the maxim that if you provide children with the space and the audience, their voices will be heard, and their voices have been heard loud and clear. I've watched them build confidence and self-belief to become active and engaged citizens. Our modern converse is learn, believe, achieve. Some doubted that this campaign would succeed, and at times it did appear daunting and even overwhelming. But we believe, and we have achieved what we set out to achieve. So fair play to six class. <laughs> to the parents of sixth class, and particularly to Sonia Concavan and Brown, who has helped to administer our Facebook page which now has 1,120 likes. So keep clicking the buttons, lads. I extend my <laughs> to Julie McGill and Adam Bonnetrich, who represented us so well at conference last November. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, Francis Timmons here on my left, who's the next pupil of this school and a campaigner for social justice has been on our steering committee and has provided us with excellent support. Five towns are represented here today by Tommy Kyo and Mary Jardis and George, and they have been enormously generous, so thank you very much. And leaving the best to last, I must thank Aideen Ryan. Her encouragement of my personal and professional interest in social justice issues as they pertain to the Catholic ethos of our school, has steered and guided us for the past two years. My husband, today, Mark Alvin, said to me this morning, he said, remember brevity is the soul of wit. So I will stop now and thank you all very much. I would now like to invite Alex, Flores, and Alberto Ortega uh, up to the stage. I'm Melanie Drake from Fair Trade 
much. Good morning. Um, my name is Melanie, and I work for French Mid Ireland. Uh, and to be honest, I don't want to say to you guys because uh, <laughs> you guys are amazing. Uh, and we've done such incredible work, and you know all about fair trade, so I'm not going to do, give you the tell you all about fair trade and what fair trade is about because you already know and you get it, uh, and that's why you're here. So um, I had a great pleasure meeting some of the students last October when so so many came along to our conference. I see them here, and it was really nice to meet uh, and talk about fair trade and, and, and get your views. And I know you've done amazing work. Uh, I, I know you first became a fair trade school last year, and then you went on to drive the campaign further into making Clondalkin a fair trade town, which is a huge responsibility to take on. And you know, to actually make something like that happen is is just fantastic. Now I know you've been led by Paula, and Paula's an amazing woman. She's done incredible work. Um, some of the amazing things you've done that you've achieved are, I know you've got the county council to, to pass a motion to support fair trade, and um, that's really good because it's really good um, in sort of, you know, civil society to have the support of the council. That's a really good thing, and it's really good that, that they're showing their support for fair trade farmers. Um, I also know that you know, there's been some local communities and businesses involved, and I know that the guys have changed um, their canteen over to Fair Trade, so I want to say thank you very much to Stephen Lyden for that, because that's really good. Uh, these are the kinds of practical things that matter, changing your canteen over to Fair Trade, buying the Fair Trade product. That's where we have the power, that's our power. And of course, you guys know all about that because you're doing it. Um, I also want to say, you know, another example is the post office. I know that um, Alan Coughlin there also is supporting fair trade, and of course the Tidy Towns, and all the other um, businesses and pe uh, people, the people of Clondalkin as well, are supporting this. So really I want to say a very, very big congratulations to you, especially the students, because you're our future shoppers, you're our future politicians, you're our future basically. And so it's just wonderful to see you um, doing this work. So a very, very big congratulations. In the work that I do, I've been very lucky now, it's fair to be fortnight, and for the past few weeks I've had the great pleasure of meeting Alex and Alfredo, and I've, you know, and myself and my colleagues that are here today, we've been travelling all over Ireland with both of them. Um, Alfredo is a, a, a sugar, uh, he works with sugar farmers in Belize, fair trade farmers, and Alex works with cashew nut farmers, um, so I've been learning really interesting things about cashew nuts and how they're processed and sugar. And we're, it's such a pleasure to have them here. So I'm going to let them talk to you a little bit about fair trade because they actually are fair trade certified farmers and they know so much more about this, what it means to them. So I'm going to let them talk for a few minutes. So Chairman of the Belize Sugar King Farmers Association. We have a membership of um, 5,500 members, um, on which in our country we have a population of 350,000 people. And out of that, 50,000 plus depend fully on the sugar industry. So it is very important for us. But because we are a very small country in population, our consumption of sugar is very little. It's less than 10%. So we depend on the foreign market for, for our sugar. But in Belize, we only have one association and one mill. So all our sugar is being produced under fair trade standards. So it is very important for us. Um, um, the foreign market is very important for us. Our, our sugar is 90% uh, of our sugar produced in Belize is being transported <coughs> to the EU through Titan Lyle. Titan Lyle is, uh, is our main marketer of our sugar in Belize. Um, and it is a pleasure for me being here, uh, being invited by 
Beatriz, Ireland. To be around, I have um, traveled more in Ireland than I have done in Belize for these two weeks. So it has been very important for me. And the, the, the slogan that they have, the power of you, the power of you is very important because the power of you will make life change for many of us in Belize and not only in Belize but also to all those um, farmers that are fair trade certified. Fair trade is not a charity. Fair trade is a, is a system that empowers the farmer but also makes them uh, more responsible, more educated, knowing on, on how to take care of them, them health, their health and their family and also taking care of their community. With the funds we receive, um, with the premium we receive for, from Fair Trade, we invest that back to the community, into the farmers, uh, families in, in the way of health, education, helping in building new um, classrooms, helping in changing sometimes the roofs of the classrooms, which are highly damaging and whenever it is raining, water filters into those and students get wet. So we have been um, through Fair Trade. There has been a lot of change in Belize. We were Fair Trade certified in 2008, and when we were certified at that time, we didn't know the size of shoes we were fitting on. So when we had the first, uh, the first audit, we were found with 28 non-compliances, and we went straight to a, to a suspension. So we had to seek um, um, help with other um, professional people that help us to regain certification and we did so in 2010. And since we regained uh, certification in 2010, we have been working very diligently to remain certified and we have done so. We are certified, uh, we continue on our certification, we continue uh, promoting with the farmers working and complying with fair trade um, standard. So it has been very important for us. But most of all, I would like to thank the people from Ireland and especially Today, being here, uh, having knowledge that um, Clondalkin will will be become a city, a fair trade city, it is very important for for me and for my friend here to know what you are doing here. Because we thought, I thought before that whenever um, our material leaves our border, that is it. But now that I have had this opportunity on being here, I can have knowledge now what amount of involvement is, 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 is here, how much people is involved in, in making um, this market become a reality so that we, in, on the other side, we as the, as the producers can have a better opportunity in marketing our product. So it is very important for us because whenever you buy a product that has the Fair Trade logo, believe me you that that is a product that is being and develop with the less use of agrochemicals, with the less use of pesticide, and it is also being produced with a with a non um, child labor within it. So it is very important for us. Um, it has been giving us guidance on how to do our lifestyle better. Um, it has guided us also on how to make the farmers understand and learn how to be more protective on themselves. So I really appreciate and thank you all. Uh, thanks to the mayor and all the, you guys here. And thank you very much. And let us continue. The power of you will change many lives of us that are Patriot certified. Thank you very much.